felt it. You must have felt it. The drawer of our world. It called to you as forcefully as it calls to me. The difference between us is that I was willing to answer that call. No, it was never about Cybertron, any more than it was about Earth now. It was always about you. Whatever nobility you may have once had, or think you've had, was long consumed by your overwhelming need to dominate all you see before you. Such pompousness from you, Prime. Your sanctimoniousness would be more impressive if we did not both know that the two of us are very much alike. We are nothing alike! I wanted to control Cybertron because I thought I was right. You fight me because you believe you are right. I am tired of your control! I die. I... I'm tired of fighting. I sue for peace, Optimus. I will order all Decepticons to stand down. It is over. All this is over. Even endless war must end sometime. Our world calls, and I will devote my existence and the existence of all Decepticons, not to attacking you or humans, but returning to our home world. I have spent far too long destroying, and it has brought me nothing. Nothing. So I wish to try creating for a time, and see if that brings me something. And am I supposed to believe your words? I am supposed to accept this call for truce. After all the lies and deceits, after all the attempts to lay waste to an entire world, Honestly, Prime, it does not matter to me what you believe. You still hold the weapon of Sentinel Prime. Use it. Annihilate me. I no longer care what you do. All I ask is that whatever decision you make, make it quickly. You are wrong. I am not like you. Because if I were, I would destroy you for showing what any Decepticon would define as weakness. Your own people may well tear you apart for this change in your attitude. For your sake, as well as theirs, control them. I will. When I do return to Cybertron, and when I do make things right, I will send for you and yours, and we will join and be one race again. A race of peace. We will once again have a home. Uh -huh.